We're here at All Hallows Hall for DBS exhibitions on innovation in sound, where final year students get to showcase major projects. We are in our final year of the music production and sound engineering degree at DBS. This is one of our final major projects. And it is called Census and we have decided to build various exhibitions that focus on visualising sound. We've made them as interactive as we can so people that are coming along can get involved and push buttons. One of the main aims of it as well was to focus on people that are deaf or hard of hearing so all about visualising sounds, kind of getting an experience that they uh, might not otherwise be able to have. So this was originally created to measure the speed of sound. So what we've set up here is a Perspex tube with polystyrene balls and we've mapped it to a little controller which if you press one of the buttons it sends, turn that off, it sends a frequency down the tube which resonates with the tube and it makes polystyrene balls stand up. Hopefully it's something that people haven't really seen before uh, because it's just quite an interesting way of, of visualising sound. It's basically just corn flour and water. He has a really strange consistency that behaves like a liquid until it's put under stress and then it starts behaving more like a solid so you can hit it but you can also it can also run through your fingers. Yeah, when we have it in the speaker um, it solidifies and then it's under stress so when we've got, uh, we're playing a sine wave at 40 hertz through it which so the, the driver is vibrating and it kind of it looks like it's dancing and kind of builds up on itself and then seems to kind of try and climb out of the driver. It's kind of like the star of the show, really. Basically, it's a uh, steel pipe with equally spaced holes filled into the top of it. It's got two gaslets in the side. One end is completely sealed, and one end has a rubber membrane. So when you put a speaker on the outside of the membrane, the sound waves vibrate the speaker, which causes high and low pressure points to form inside the tube. And then the gas can only come out the top, so it will visualize the waveform of what's been played in the pipe. So this is the Kladney plate um, and it works on similar principles as our other exhibitions. Once you send a frequency that vibrates, that resonates with the plate on top, the vibrating plate on top, it begins to form cymatic patterns on the top due to nodal lines throughout the plate. So it's basically areas of movement and non-movement again. We just wanted to sort of make something that people can learn a bit from but also just be fun. Yeah, definitely a mixture of fun and educational. It's something for all ages, uh, hopefully a few people were left having learnt something that they didn't already know uh, or just had a cool experience and seen something they didn't know was possible.